I'm still trying to figure out the biggest storyline, John, going into this MLB season is? Well, I'm glad you asked because to me it's the Yankees. And you teased it before the break. Uh, We have not had a repeat champion in Major League Baseball since the Yankees uh, in 2000. They, of course, won three straight, 98, 99, 2000, back when Derek Jeter was a shortstop and not a team owner, which, of course, is the case now. (laughs) Uh, But I I think to me it's, it's this rebooted reimagine Yankee team, bringing in Stanton, uh, people around that team. I saw the recent comments from John Sterling, the radio broadcaster, that he is as, as excited about this team as he ever has been for a Yankee season, which I think says a lot about all the stars they've had in the past. But you really get the sense, Kirk, that here's a team that was the dominant force in the game for a period of time, and now they're back in a big way, not just getting to the ALCS as they were last year, but it's almost as though the Yankees are back on the map because anything short of a World Series championship for them is going to be a failure. And speaking of teams that are all in, I love this as well. On the <laughs> National League side, Kurt, right. a storyline that I'm going to watch a lot during the course of the year. Clayton Kershaw is in the final year before he can opt out of his contract with the Dodgers. Bryce Harper's in the last year mm-hmm. of his contract with the Nationals. There's no way that both of them will be happy when the season is over because right. one of them, at, at, at most, one of them can win the World Series, and that is where the bar is for both of them as well. So I love it. You've got the Yankees going all in, getting Stanton. You've got Kershaw and Harper desperate to win in their final years with their franchises potentially. You've got a lot of desperation from a lot of teams with a lot of talent, which I love. A lot of all in teams right now in Major League Baseball. MLB Network analyst uh, John Morosi joined the Rich Eisen show. And John is are, I mean well are we going to give Clayton Kershaw and Bryce Harper the LeBron James treatment this year of basically knowing they have the opportunity to opt out and be free agents or be a free agent altogether how many times will they be asked the question hey what are you going to do about next year because they're going to hear it all if the Dodgers go on a losing streak or the Nationals aren't where they're supposed to be How many times will we hear these guys have to answer those questions? It's a great question, Kirk. And I think it it speaks to maybe just a little bit of a – different focus on the on the big 162 of, of all the games and, and the way that maybe those questions seem to be handled nowadays in baseball relative to the NBA. I think in, in baseball, Harper came out at his very first press conference of the season in spring training and said, basically, if you ask me about 2018, the interview's over. That's how he handled it. So he did not want to talk about it at all. Uh, Kershaw has always been somewhat guarded in speaking about himself and his own plans. Um, And so I I don't expect we're going to see a lot of revelations coming out from Clayton Kershaw during the the coming months. I think it's interesting that that in the NBA... And I love this, by the way, about the NBA. The players are are outspoken yes. and, and are very aware of their ability to basically control the chess pieces of the entire <laughs> landscape of the league. It's like, hey, if we all go to this team, we're going to be dominant, we're going to win. And I, I love the fact that it's very out there in the open and then people talk about it. In, in baseball, it's a little more uh, guarded, which I, I think both – we understand certainly who's going to be a free agent. It's not as though that by not talking about it from Harper's standpoint that we are going to talk about it any less because I think we're still going to talk about it as much as we already would. It's just without his input. I, I love the way that LeBron and Chris Paul and Kevin Durant, that the big stars of the NBA have been very outspoken and maybe steering the conversation in that direction. And maybe we're going to see a time, uh, maybe in the next couple of years, where baseball gets to that point as well. But it does well seem to be that – that the players are being quite so candid uh, as maybe we see in basketball. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.